Hi everyone. Um, my name is Nina Camplin and I'm here on behalf of the VC Gallery in place of the normal Wednesday workshops that they have actually in Haverford West and Pembroke Dock. Um, today, as we're all on lockdown, um, I'm sure you've all probably seen on social media the rainbows that have been appearing in people's windows and uh, one of the latest trends is teddy bears, so I thought I'd combine the two. Um, I think they're being put out partly to support the NHS and partly for kids to give them something to spot when they're out on their daily exercise. So I've got my model here. This is my teddy bear. She's called Mum Ted and she was given to me by my dad. My dad was actually away touring with his band. He was a drummer in a band and he was touring in Germany when I was born. So when he came back, he bought me this teddy bear. So she's actually, in fact, probably even older than me. So what I'm going to do, first of all, um, let me set my model up on the mantelpiece next to the easel. So you can all see her there. Now I'm going to do this in kind of like two different stages and two different levels of ability. The first one is going to be if you are working with your kids at home and you want to give them something nice and easy to do. First of all, I've, ma I've slightly sketched out the teddy bear on my paper, but if you want to get kids to do it, get them to draw it with a crayon. So I'm actually using oil pastel because I haven't got crayons. So I'm going to do this in a, a dark blue colour. Get your teddy bear just sketched out. And now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put um, a wash of the rainbow over it. So the, the crayon or the oil pastel will act as a wax resist. And what I specified in the um, write-up to this was to use brightest colours you've got. I'm using um, inks and watercolour because it's, I've got a mixture of different colours. Now, just um, if you're going to carry on and do the more advanced stage, you want to have a think about where your light source is coming from. So mine's coming from this side and all the light is hitting the teddy bear on that side of the, the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lightest colours, that's the yellow of the rainbow, for all the lightest areas. So I'm going to put that all down this light side. This is a cadmium yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to go... I'm going to do kind of circular rainbow so it, it blends the colours around that way. So the next one I'm going to do is orange, which I've got a fluorescent orange ink here. I'm not going to worry about these colours dripping or merging because it really doesn't matter what the background looks like because it's, you'll still see the teddy. So Carmine this ink is. I'm going to use a carmine next. I'm going to take that right across the top. And it comes across this side of the teddy bear. And then round the other side, the next colour from yellow is going into the blue. So the ones that they make together are green. So the green will go between the yellow and the blue. I'm going to put a green in here. You can see it's all running, but I think that will quite add quite a nice effect to it at the end. And then this is where all the shading is going to be. So this is going to be the darker area. So this is going to be blue here, and then there'll be like a a violet in the middle. I'm going to put this in over the dark side. Getting them to blend together. And then between the, which would be the red or the pink as I've put in there, and the blue will be a purple. So I'm going to mix two of these together and get a purple colour.
there you've got your very basic version so if you if you're working with kids on this one you could get them to um draw the the outline in again when it's dry but what i'm going to do is i'm going to start adding a bit more um detail on this so on my teddy bear if you can see it on the mantelpiece there this arm has got quite a lot of shading on this side so i'm going to try and use the same colors that we've got in the background but to make them darker to achieve the uh the shading there so we've got orange there but what i'm going to do with the orange is i'm going to add a little bit of the complementary color the color in the opposite side of the spectrum so just a little bit of blue to it to put into the shading on that arm it comes in there again it's still running because the background's wet but i'm not concerned about that and then again in here we've got shading in this part of the leg inside here i'm going to use a green mix the blue into it to make it a bit darker and put some shading in here and then we've got a really dark part between where the legs join the body so I'm actually mixing all the dark colours together in here to achieve that real dark bit more blue bit more blue so get a nice shadow in there we've also got a lot of shadow in this side of the body as well going up into that arm side of the head here. This arm's very light but there is, I don't know if you can see my teddy bear in the background there, there is quite a lot of shadow behind the teddy as well so I'm going to put that in too. It's also going to be quite dark in here. I'm going to just try and blot some of this off where it's running over the light part. We're getting some fabulous rainbow colours happening in here now, over that leg. Okay, I'm going to put the eyes in next because I think that's going to really make it come alive. So I'm going to use a really, really dark blue. the nose now my teddy's lost her nose it's obviously it's worn out over the years she is over I won't say how old I am but she's older than me so I'm gonna make I'm gonna pretend that nose is still there because I think that's what distinguishes teddy bears quite a lot is that nose and then it's just a matter then I keep working it up it's obviously it would be better if I could just let this dry but I haven't got a hairdryer to hand so I'm just gonna carry on working on it using all the same colours again. You don't want to over blend the colours because they start going a bit brown after a while, which mine is starting to do now. But when you're getting real dark areas it's not too bad. Shadow on the bottom of the 
this leg. Still very wet where the eye is, so it's still running quite a lot. Right, now I'm going to, um, where the highlights are, I'm going to put some white in, so I've got some white paint here. Right, so looking at this teddy bear, the, the highlights are coming in from this side of the body. So I'm going to put white in, just to bring that out from the background a bit more. This is actually um, masonry paint because my acrylic white is very transparent, as you've just seen. It hardly shows at all, so... that okay just the top of this ear now I'm just going to put a little bit along the edge of this this arm here just picking up a highlight. There we go. Now I want to soften this dividing line along the middle. Let me just fade it out a bit more. dry enough to put in properly now. No, it's still running. <laughs> it's still running. I need to just wash that out a bit. So I need to, I have to let this dry off a bit so I can put that eye in. There we go. <laughs> so I hope you're all going to have a go at this and I'd love to see what you're doing at home. So if you do do a a rainbow teddy you can stick it in your window when you've finished please do post them on the uh, VC gallery page so that we can all have a look and hopefully I'll see you again next week bye